And there's a quote that says, the longest distance that most people travel is the 18 inches between their head and their heart. And most people get stuck in their heads. I told you today it was not about whether I knew a whole bunch of stuff. It's about can you connect to your heart? That's what today was about. That I never planned to do this work. This is not the work that I planned for my own life, but it's the work that called me into the world. And when I got to begin doing the work of this, of working as an educator, it's when I really came alive. Howard Thurman says, don't ask what the world needs. Ask what makes you come alive and go do that. Because what the world needs is more people who have come alive. I hope that you do the work that makes you come alive. I hope the work that you get to do in service of young people, whether you're in the office or you're right in the main office, that you are on the front lines of changing lives. But just know that everything you do makes a difference. Every bus that shows up on time makes a difference. Every clean gymnasium makes a difference. Every locker that works makes a difference. Every part of that educational experience makes a difference in the lives of our young people. When we begin to define you as what you, what's in the box, what points are in on the test, that's when I think the relationship goes haywire. And when I can have those conversations with students, when I can say, I see there's something else more than what you're letting me see, what am I missing? When they can recognize that I see them, it's hard for them to keep hiding. And we're clear about our masks, and if we can get clear about as adults about our own masks, oh yeah, oh, I, hmm, there's probably more going on there. And maybe this is not the right time to have this conversation. Maybe I need to wait a few minutes. Or give, hmm, let me de-escalate that for a little bit. Okay, let me come back to you, <laughs> right? But when I get to come back to you, I get to, to say, you know, I, I see you. And I think that it requires just us to begin that process of saying, there is more than any of us can ever see. And I, have, I may have more in common, I may have, you may have more in common between one of your students who doesn't look like you than you do with one who does. But because we are using, a lot of times our eyes make the judgment, the students making the judgment with their eyes, we make the judgment with our eyes, we don't get to know. And we may not even ever decide to ask, right? And so how do we begin to get more human for them so that we can be seeing each other and have a conversation?